To all those people watching, I'd like to remind everyone that this video is not made for kids. It's for older fans and adults. Enjoy the fucking video! One morning, Harold the helicopter was sitting in his field waiting for his next mission. When... Oh, I say, he gasped. What was that? He only managed to see the plane as it buzzed away from the airfield. Harold had never seen such a plane before. It hadn't returned for a while, and Harold began wondering if he was seeing things. Toby arrived with his vintage train. Toby, he called out. Did you see any plane flying ahead this morning? Hmm, pondered Toby. Boy, how the fog is, Harold. I was keeping my eyes on the rails today. What did the plane look like? It had a sort of darkish green paint, replied Harold. Well, I'll keep a good look out just in case. Goodbye, Harold. See you later. And he puffed away. Harold just looked at the sky, waiting to see if that mysterious plane returns. The plane didn't return, and the next morning, Harold was ready to patrol the island in case there was an emergency. But before he had started, There it is again! cried Harold. Then he saw the mysterious plane landing on the airstrip and parked on the field. Pilot jumped down. Hello there, chaps. My name is Mitchell, he called. Thomas, who was waiting at the platform, was surprised. That's no mystery plane, Harold. That's a Spitfire. A what? A Spitfire, Harold, chuckled the pilot. What on earth is a Spitfire? That, replied the pilot proudly. They served in the Second World War to take down the enemy, and their most famous battle was the Battle of Britain. The Battle of Britain? gasped Harold. Oh, I heard of that. The Battle of Britain was a three-month, three-week battle between Britain and Germany, fighting the latter to protect their country from harm. Harold had admired the bravery of the men back then and wished that he had taken part in something like that. But he was only built well after the war. Yes, they are great machines, these Spitfires. I was testing this plane ready for the anniversary of the battle. Tomorrow is the big day, and I was told that this is the place nearby to grab some fuel. Ah, it's just over there, replied Harold's pilot. Harold looked on sad. What's the matter, Harold? asked Thomas. I wish I were a real hero, Thomas, he replied sadly. A real hero? But you are one, Harold. Yes, but not one that would give me great recognition worldwide, like the Spitfire. What have I done on that scale? Oh, Harold, you don't have to be in a war to be hailed as a hero. You had been a hero to all on Sodor. You helped Percy and his crew by giving them hot drinks. You helped Daisy's passengers who were trapped by snow. You helped to find Oliver and stop the thieves who had taken him. You saved Pegasus the horse. And you even brought the inspector to help me to stop from being a runaway. Phew, that's a lot, puffed Thomas. A lot of great accomplishments. Yeah, sighed Harold, but still not as big as something like the Battle of Britain. Thomas sighed. You'll soon understand, Harold, that a hero can be anything. And he puffed away. The next day was the anniversary. The planes that had once served in the Battle of Britain were on display, and the engines were bringing passengers to see them. 
Some of them are doing fine displays. Mitchell was one of these pilots and it was his turn. His plane buzzed across the sky. Everyone was saying ooh and ah at the sight of him flying. He was enjoying himself. But then there was trouble. What on earth? The Spitfire's engine was spluttering. Everyone from the ground had heard the noise and was worried. Mitchell was trying hard to regain control, but it was too late. The plane veered towards the ground right into a nearby stream. Help! He cried. The head of the show tried to calm the people down. Just then, Thomas puffed into view. I saw what happened. Is Mitchell all right? We don't know, Thomas. We need help quickly since he spit fire landed in a stream. I know who will help, he cried and he puffed away. Thomas quickly steamed into Harold's airfield. Harold! Harold! he cried. Mitchell and his Spitfire are stranded in a stream and he needs your help. All right, said Harold. And he buzzed away. An emergency is an emergency. Harold soon arrived at the scene. Mitchell walked towards him and climbed into Harold and soon they went away back to the field. Everyone cheered as Harold safely landed on the field. Mitchell felt cold and wet, but he was glad that he was saved in the end. Thank you for saving me, Harold. You truly are a hero. Three cheers for Harold! Everyone cheered and Harold was very pleased. I remember he given hot drinks to Percy's crew when he worked on the branch line, said one of the crowd members. I remember he helped us when Daisy had failed in the snow, said another. And I remember he saved Pegasus once, another cheered. Harold was astonished. You all remembered that? Of course we do, replied another crowd member. You're a hero to all of us, and everyone cheered. Harold was pleased. Mitchell and the head of the show had offered Harold to be on display. As much as I would love to, I must be on the lookout if there's trouble. After all, I had to help out rescuing your Spitfire, he said, and he buzzed away with a crowd giving him the last three cheers. When Harold told Thomas about it later that day, Thomas smiled. I told you that you just don't have to be in a war to be hailed as a hero, and Harold the helicopter simply agreed.